sweatpants is the ultimate luxury, but what if I told you you can get away with it at Christmas dinner? Here with the secret to not looking like a slob in sweatpants is stylist Christian Tear. <laughs> No one, no one wants to be a slob at Christmas, right? No one right? wants to be a slob. Then you want to eat all the good food, but yes. you want to look put together, right? Like you do. Hello, can we hear it for his sweatpants? <laughs> like, that's how you do a right? sweatpants? That's a holiday sweatpants. Well, yeah, if you're going to wear a sweatpant, mm -hmm. which these are, yes. super comfy. You can eat as much as you want at Christmas dinner. There's no <laughs> unbuttoning your button Drawstring. at the end. Drawstring, right? Yeah. Make it glam. And right. then you can get away with it, and no one's even going to ask you about it. No one will ask you about it. Now, we've got some great um, street inspo yeah. uh, that you pulled for us. So take a look at these shots. And in each shot, like, the model or the person we're looking at is yeah. in uh, sweatpants. Yeah, a great velvet sweatpant, a leather, leather sweatpant. Yeah. And then one of the great tricks also we'll show is wearing a white blouse. Nice. Instantly makes it feel dressy, right? Yes, absolutely. So it elevates it a little bit. You can actually wear that to the office, yeah. wear that to the Christmas dinner party. And no one will be the wiser. No That's the entire will. trick here, right? That's right. So the first look we're going to start off with, these are kind of the rules I would suggest you do. Okay. So I actually want the very traditional jogging pant. Mm -hmm. And what's funny with fashion, we now call them joggers. We do. Because joggers are the more slim version of the jogging pant. That's right. Right? So the trick you want to do is you want to make sure where your top is hitting you yeah. does not expose the elastic waistband. That's right. Right? Yes. And then no one knows. The other trick I suggest is you also want to check where it's hitting you at the bottom. Okay. Like as you've seen I did, I showed a little ankle. Yeah. Um, that's also one of the tricks when you're wearing a heel, show a little ankle. And yeah. a stylist trick, because these always fall down on me, Yes. is... To a pin little it. safety pin on the inside to make it a little snugger. Oh, okay. And then it will stay up when you zhuzh it up and it will See, fall I down. See, I haven't tried that and I do zhuzh mine up and they fall. And they like fall. one side falls. It's very annoying. So, a little style trick, just a safety pin on the inside. Pin it. Set, set, set. Lovely. So, our first look, one of the great things is, of course, we've done the white blouse. Yes. Pop a blazer on it yeah. and then you have no idea, right? That's right. And one of the tricks, especially now, sorry, with all these jogging pants with drawstrings, mm -hmm. is there's this rule I learned from RuPaul. Yes. <laughs> make sure you tuck. I do that. Right? So if you tuck, tuck in it the in, strings. tuck in the strings. Yes. No one will know, right? I love it. Because so, I wear them all the time, and I do. I tuck in the string, and then no one knows. Yeah. You've got that all covered. So one of the great ways to dress it up is, of course, to play with pattern. Yes. Right? Like a gold leopard. So subtle, Christian. So subtle, right? <laughs> I love my subtle. <laughs> Instantly. I love it. Right? It dresses it up. No one's going to be like, hey, are those track pants? They're going to be like, those pants are amazing, right? Yeah, that, that's just a pant. So it's always great to play with texture. Another one you can do. Yeah. So definitely do a sparkly pant. And we did the sort of traditional. Yes. Right? Yeah. Zhuzh up the bottom a little bit. But we can switch it out with a great velvet pant. So this is if you want to take it to the next level. And right? I just started uh, recently seeing the velvet joggers like in burgundies and beautiful gem yeah, tones. It's amazing. And they are gorgeous yeah. and luxe and dressy. They do them in velvets now, yes. silks, prints. Yeah. These we all got from H&M, so they're super affordable. Excellent. So the other tricks are also, of course, like opt for sparkly tops. Yeah. If that's too much sparkle for you. There's also so many great sort of holiday sweaters out there. Yes. Like a little, a little soft. faux soft, right? Some yeah. sheen. Look for details in it, right? Like the arm has this great little cuff. Yeah, it's beautiful. So you can swap it out really easily. Okay, and then, and the, the, and then the shoe really counts there as well. This is the trick. This right? is always the trick. If your shoe is a statement shoe, yeah. no one's going to question anything else you're wearing, right? That's right. So it's always great. I mean, that's the trick I do every day. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely do it with a great strappy heel. Mm -hmm. You can also, if you want to do such more of a rocker aesthetic, you can do a mm -hmm. great sequin boot. Yes. So it's like this amazing thing. And that way, I mean, if you are, like, people will know that was not meant to go to the grocery store. No. Like, look at my boot. I meant this intentionally. Yeah. I'm dressing it up. I'm going out to a party in this look. It's all about the shoe. Yeah. Um, and so that you have to make sure you definitely have a good shoe with this side. Right. Yeah. So definitely then also, this what we've beautiful. noticed is there's so many pants out there. If you want to go all the way out there, yeah. the pajama pant has made a comeback also. Right. And so these this, are literally pajama pants. This are is they literally not? a pajama pant and a pajama top, but I did not find them in the pajama section. No? No. These oh. were in the main section of H&M okay. because that's how they're selling it. It's now that new look, right? Awesome. So especially if you pair it with a sparkly top, yes. pair it with an amazing sparkling shoe. Love you it. could also, if you don't want the black on black, you could also 
Add in a great sparkly tint to go with it. Oh, that's so nice. I mean, you may want to switch at the top if you don't want to do metallic on metallic. Right. But sometimes more is more when it's holiday. Totally. I don't know how you hung this, so I'm just going to do this. Right. That looks awesome. So I didn't realize this is called, uh, that's called a pajama pant. Pajama pant. And it's the same trick, elastic waistband. Elastic so, waistband. So the other trick, besides the shoes, yes. find in my pocket, Ooh. add in statement earrings, right? Earrings. Statement earrings, statement necklaces. Yes. So it's all these things like to add in the glitz and glam, so you're still super comfortable. Beautiful. Now my last pajama set, which I love, which I want to live in. Yeah. It looks like an expensive cashmere oh. set. It's actually from H&M. It's very affordable. Yeah. I would sleep in this, get up, do your hair, put on some good shoes. Go Show up out. to dinner. If you feel that, <laughs> I felt it, and it is the softest, softest material. And I am gonna, I'm gonna go and find that in my size. Right. That is beautiful. So now you know how you can do joggers and pajama pants at Christmas oh, dinner. One last trick yeah. that I've learned from makeup artists: add a red lip at the very end. Ooh, and we're gonna talk more about that. Right. Later the on red the show. lip always dresses you up. Very nice. Let's go to break. We got more coming up, guys. It's Fashion Friday.